Dream Lopers had an unbelievable season starting in the Dahlia. She was very tough that day and Kieran was, was really impressed and she's really just gone on from there. The Dispahan came up and, and it was kind of the obvious next step being nine furlongs. It, it seemed at the time stepping her up to a from a mile to nine was the making of her. So we went there and she obviously won her first group one, which was, which was amazing. And Kieran gave her an absolute peach that day. And we were pretty adamant that she'd stay 10 from there on. And we went to Ireland and it rained and rained and rained. And sadly, I wasn't there. And it absolutely chucked it down sort of half an hour before the race. And um, the ground was awful and she just was wheel spinning. So we couldn't really blame the trip for that disappointing run. We more blamed the ground, and then it was really kind of apparent in the, in the Nassau at Goodwood that she didn't quite see out the 10 furlongs. And then back to a mile, and, um, and, and yeah, the, the Moulin was, was awesome. Started thinking about the Breeders' Cup straight after the uh, Dispahan, to be honest with you. I've never had a runner in the Breeders' Cup. It's one of the, the mega meetings around the world that you dream of having runners at. I'm lucky to have had a runner in the Melbourne Cup. You know, obviously, all the big, big international you know, meetings here, Ascot and, 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 and the ARC, ARC meeting and Hong Kong. But the, the Breeders' Cup has eluded us so far. And, and um, you know, just to, to be a part of that would be, would be really special. And it's great to be going there with a, a real life contender. And I, and I can see her, you know, I'd be very, very disappointed if she didn't run a huge race. You know, I, I really fancy her to turn up and run a big race. And, it's, and that's very special and very exciting. We're looking more at the mile than the Phillies and Mare turf. Reason being really just the trip. I'm sure nine and a half furlongs around two turns will be absolutely fine, but it's a slight question mark. You know, we know she stays nine. We know she doesn't stay 10. So why send her for her last race of her, potentially her last race of her career with a slight question mark when you could go to the mile and know that she is a brilliant miler? I mean, she's, She's a 120 rated miler. She's one of the best milers in Europe on that Moulin performance. So why, why change that? Um, yes, it's gonna be sharper, um, but she's not slow. Uh, she's got great gate speed. She'll jump, she'll travel. It'll help her settle, which is really the key to her. And I think has been really the making of her this year. She's been settling so much better. And we just know over a mile, she'll be hitting the line really strong, whether that's in front or not, who knows, but she'll be finishing like a train. Kieran's been a star with this filly. He's, I mean, he's ridden her impeccably. He's got on extremely well with her. She is a bit of a hothead and does need need knowing. And 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 I really believe that that relationship has has not not the making of her, but certainly helped. You know, also the relationship with Molly Stratton, who rides her every day at home. She's done an incredible job. And all the guys here, you know, the guys who get up at four in the morning and feed her and. And, and, and the lads on the yard and, and everybody. It's a massive team effort. But, um, but no, the, Kieran, the relationship with Kieran has definitely been a big help.